So here we have just an awesome update on the homemade welder. It can now run lighting and several different power tools. This is so cool. And yes, it is still a welder. Alright, so what exactly did it take to add this feature? Install an outlet. That's it. If you've already built an alternator welder, then you've already done the work necessary to get to this point. Make sure to use a spade terminal for a good solid connection to the outlet. So how does this setup run power tools? Well, as it turns out, a lot of handheld power tools are built with universal motors. These motors work with either 120 volts AC or 120 volts DC. These tools can be identified as an AC corded motor with brushes. For tools with no visible brush access, just look for sparks when you're pulling or releasing the trigger. If you see sparks, then it has brushes. So armed with this information, I start trying out different tools, and my list of workables starts to grow. Matter of fact, I'm hard pressed to find any of my power tools not to be universal. So what does it take to get an alternator to put out 120 volts DC? Well, around 9,000 RPM at the alternator, not the engine. My alternator isn't running that fast, so I can't verify it. But the good news is you don't actually need the full 120 DC to run these tools. With my pulley setup, I'm only running at 5,700 RPM, and my top voltage is 88. The speed and power of my tools at this voltage are definitely workable. Also, by simply adjusting the throttle, you can really slow these tools down if need be. Even at a lower speed, this drill has no problem with this particular job. And that's at 56 volts. Lighting. Well, heating elements and lighting will also happily consume AC or DC. Obviously, the closer you get to 120, the brighter an incandescent bulb will be. But a funny thing happens with compact fluorescents. They seem to glow at their maximum potential no matter what RPM I'm running at. They do take a few extra seconds to start at idle when compared to full throttle. But once they're on, they're on. Unless, of course, you're welding. Well, I think that about covers it for the DC side of things. I'm still messing with the AC, so I'll have to update that one later. So have fun with this, and do be careful.